So, do a quick update on my second swell. Here we got sunflower. I planted several seeds in here and they've all disappeared. And I think it's because of those harvester ants that are down there. Harvester ants harvest seeds, so that would make sense if they found the seeds and took care of those. Here's my fig that I planted and I had to put this cage around it to protect it from the cats. Asparagus is looking pretty good. I had to put these sticks in here because the cats kept coming in here and laying on these and I would find them all flat. Sunflowers. Morning glory climbing up this sunflower. So yesterday we were getting some a little bit of rain in town. So I checked in on my home camera that overlooks my garden. It's right there. And I just happened to see a deer right here. And he was just munching away on stuff. And I actually had things planted all in here, including my uh, my poor little dewberry got the top eaten off of it. It was actually starting to look nice. Several things like this uh, cucumber or squash or something got pulled out of the ground. And it just he was just parked here. You can see his little hoof prints all along here. He was just munching away at everything in this vicinity. They're also eating on my sunflowers there a little bit. But you know, you just really can't win sometimes it seems like some morning glory they were eating. I know morning glory seeds are toxic. I don't know about the plant itself. So if it is, I hope the deer at least got a stomach ache and maybe it'll think twice about coming over here. Step down here. Yeah, deer. All right, so this this is some old seed that I had tossed here, and it's just taken off. It's taken over this whole area. It's running down into the the swell ditch here. Uh, I don't think the deer like it. I see piece missing here so it looks like they may have tried it and then they just stopped right there and we're like eh, that's kind of gross so in the future in areas where uh, the garden is going to be more exposed to deer I'm going to have to plant more things that they don't like too much that makes more sense to me you know plant all the things they don't like on the outskirts maybe they won't go past that to come in to the inner parts where the uh, food that they're more likely to eat is located so uh, I'm still not sure what this plant is. This is multiple of these plants, but uh, I've been looking for little flowers on here just to see if I could tell what it might be. But it's got kind of a strong odor similar to the uh, buffalo gourd, but I know it's not buffalo gourd because I didn't plant any of, plant any of those seeds over here. So uh, it may be some kind of squash or melon or something. I'm really curious to see what it's going to be. Here, uh, this is all my mustard that's gone crazy here. It's all starting to bolt. Um, oh yeah, there's some kind of spinach or something here, but it's got a pretty good flavor to it and it's doing all right there. It's just uh, more seed that I scattered, but the same with this mustard. I scattered seed along here and uh, the mustard seed just really took off. It's almost like too much mustard, you know? Nothing else can grow. I've got about like uh, nasturtium down there. There's strawberries I planted all along here. There's a strawberry. Uh, so I don't know that it's really that good thing, good of a thing there. Um, you see the grasshoppers moving in. I'm really starting to see a lot of grasshoppers. Uh, there's some kind of bug I think it's called a border bug some other little bugs there uh, I guess it's 
it's okay I don't really care too much at this point if this thing drops these seeds here and this takes over the mound in the future I'm just gonna have to avoid planting anything else here because it's gonna be too tough for it to grow unless it's something tall like a sunflower or something like that Let's see a little ladybug there on the back side here I've got just some little beds that I prepped for annuals nothing's really grown super well along here here's my one of my blackberries this blackberries got a pretty good looking uh, new cane here we'll get some fruit next year if that makes it another blackberry more annuals these, some of these beds that are prepped really don't look very good at all there's some watermelon coming up there but I haven't quite figured out why some look really well and some don't um, this gets some pretty good afternoon shade i'll just keep experimenting with this and you know as these wood chips break down as i keep amending soil with compost and such it should get better over time so i'm not really concerned about this first year too much future years i, I think i'll be able to grow pretty much any annual vegetable i want but we'll see all right so that's my second garden update for my second swell.